worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry you Hi, um, Rebecca with 13 with Rebecca. I thought I'd do something this morning that I don't do th very often. I don't know why I don't, but just because of the way the situation lands. But I'm going to do a haul video of all the stuff I got on Saturday when I went out to Crystal Lake. Me and my son Alex went to Crystal Lake shopping. So I'm going to scan over it and then I will talk about them, okay? So, oh, it's um, Monday, February 13th. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna scan over these ones right here. We'll move some closer so I can. And they are dirty. I'm going to clean them. I haven't got a chance to yet because yesterday was Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, and my husband and I uh, watched movies. All right. Okay, so I scanned over. All right, and now I'm gonna go over it with you. My chair keeps rolling away. All right. Let's have a, this, this first piece, um, this piece right here, um, it is a Vanini uh, for Murano, sorry, Vanini for Di Serrano. It's Murano. I spuck it amber. I have a blue one, but my, my husband and I decided to keep that for our decor. And I happened to find this one at the very same saver store as I found the first one, which is odd. But yeah, I paid $4.49 for it. So that's good. I have this really pretty amber vase. Um, with this clear bottom. Um, I found this uh, in purple before and it sold in one of my whatnot auctions. And I just thought it was super pretty. It's from Ikea and I paid $5.99. In that area, things are, are spendy. All right, so then I have this very, very cranberry or pink, dark pink vase with a bubble on the bottom. Oh my goodness, there's liquid in the bottom. Oh, there's liquid in the bubble. Wow, I didn't never see that before. That is weird. But okay, anyway, very pretty. This hand-blown amethyst vase. Okay, oh, the, the primary one, I did $349, and this one was $420. Another very nice vase for $249 green avocado green no damages very pretty and then this swung little swung vase cobalt vase which is also very pretty um this was $4.99 and I usually sell these for like $20 to $24 dollars. so that's not bad and then I found two of these Cobalt, well, Colonial Blue, and then, um, uh, what do you call it, Carnival. I paid $4.29 for this one and $3.49 for this one. The Indiana King Crown Compotes. So, check, check, Bohemian check, ashtray, bowl, chinka dish, whatever you want it to be. Six bucks. This orange swirl ruffled vase five bucks very nice um these are indiana point diamond point black glass candlesticks they're very dirty inside but they will not be by the end of the day and i paid 2.99 for the pair black glass not so easy to find all right i found this amber um what i believe to be blanco ashtray i paid $5.49 for that. This very, very pretty. Just, um, I'm not sure who makes this, um, but very pretty color. Vintage, obviously. Uh, I paid $4.49 for that. Very pretty amber. Um, I did look it up and then the name is escaping me. I'm sorry. 
I'm sure it's Indiana Glasses. Or no, Anchor Hockey. And, I can't remember. I'll have to look it up again. But four forty nine for that. Um, I bought this. How when to pee? Leave the drink alone. Whistle and then wet your whistle. I have another wet your whistle mug um, in my stock. This is. I, I believe it might be Princess House, but it has a pink depression glass kind of uh, flair to it. It was two fifty. And then I found these two fused glass fish plates. Very nice, very pretty. This little guy, I have sold him before. I can't remember the name because it was a while ago, but I had the whole box and everything. And I found him at Goodwill for a dollar. No, two forty nine. But I remember I sold him for like twenty something dollars. Light little lighthouse paperweights in the fish bag, two fifty. Little uh, gingerbread heart glass man, a buck, a dollar. Oh my goodness, my husband put these far. Uh, there is a name for these vases. I cannot think of it right now. Um, I, I, I sold one before and I just called it the donut hole vase. But then I saw somebody else selling one and they had the actual name. And that escapes me now. But um, uh, $3.99. Hi, I'm back. Um, I had a little crisis there. I had started filling. When I started the video, I had first started filling up my sink so that they can soak while I'm gone at work. But uh, it overflowed because I forgot while I was videoing that it was filling up. So now it's just waiting for me to put stuff in it. Um, okay, so the piece that I had stopped at was this piece. And it's a handkerchief face and it is signed um, C. Butcher. Uh, and I believe that stands for Clarence Butcher. He has a partner that he usually teams up with for glass. And they do a lot of these, a lot of these handkerchief faces. And um, this one just happens to be just him. And it is, uh, he uh, signed it. Uh, so yeah, that'll be great. Um, I also, I then found this iridescent, this uh, kind of iridescent carnival kind of clear to cut dish. And that was uh, $4.49. And I, for the, the handkerchief vase, I did pay um, 10 bucks because they're worth 90 to $100. So. Once I saw it signed, I knew I had a better shot. All right. So then I found these, this pair of Amber Cruets. I paid a dollar fifty each for them. And um, they should do good. This face. Now I have. I don't know. Did I show you this one already? Well, anyway, I'll do it again. Uh, okay. I got thrown off. Sorry, by by the crisis. I have found this vase before. I called it a donut vase because I didn't know what it was called. But then I saw it in uh, um, somebody else's auction and they had the actual name, but I don't remember what it is. So anyway, this I believe is a uh, glass baron, and but I have to clean it up and um, look it up in the, in the light box. Because when I was trying to do it before, there was stuff behind it and it was all confusing. Now this. I found this in bright pink before. They sell for about 20 to 25 bucks, and I just love them. They're just so pretty. And uh, this one was five bucks. This here is a Princess House Bear paperweight. So he's a little cutie. I paid uh, five bucks for him. This is a, I, they believe this might be Princess House too, but I'm not sure. It has a pink tint to it. And I paid, it's an ashtray and I paid $2.49. It could be Murano, but I don't know. I don't think so. Green fish paperweight. It'll look much better once it's clean. Um, I bought this little glass basket just because it was cute. Dollar I paid. This is a uh, went to pee, leave this drink alone mug and it's a wet your whistle mug the whistle does work i have another one over um on my mugs shelves that uh is hilarious and that was two bucks i found this uh little dollar ginger man gingerbread 
uh, amber gingerbread guy, dollar. Um, I can't remember where I left off, so I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I'm just gonna probably repeat myself. Uh, a fish bag with a lighthouse paperweight, paid three, 250. And this guy, I have sold him before. Um, I paid two forty nine, but I remember I sold him for like twenty bucks. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, these are a pair of Indiana cut to cut diamond cut uh, candlesticks, black glass. I think I okay. I think that I have already shown you from here that way. So I will. Um, okay, let, give me one second. Okay, so obviously I repeated some of those and now that I went and looked back at the video, but I can't start all over again. So I hope that doesn't bother you that some of them got repeated. It, it, I got thrown off, I'm sorry. So I went to the Crystal Lake area where my dad and his girlfriend live. And I before I went, I planned a route of, of places I wanted to hit while I was there. And I started in Huntley, Illinois. Um, it's about 35 minutes from here to Calb. And then I worked my way to Crystal Lake and then to McHenry County. And um, it, it, it's better if you do that. If you plan a route, then you could hit a whole bunch of stores. You know, they have savers out there, but I we, didn't, we don't have any here or close to me. So I, but they only had one close to them. The other two were another 40 minutes and then another 30 minutes. So I did not go to the other two because it's just, I didn't have a full day to go do this. I had, I needed to go in the more early in the morning and I needed to hit as many stores as I could in the same area because I had to get back so my husband could go to work because my other son was here with my husband. And um, anyway, um, when you plan a route, then you end up going, you know, and getting a decent amount of items out of each store. And they have good items out there. They, you know, you can, you can guarantee that you, I didn't go into a single store where I didn't find stuff, not a single one. And I can tell you, I went to Rockford a few, like a few weeks ago, and I went into six stores and didn't find nothing. So yeah, um, you gotta, you, you just gotta plan it out and then look for the areas that have a lot of stores in one condensed area and go to them. So um, next next time I go is probably gonna be to, be to Aurora uh, area because um, there's a whole bunch of stores in the Aurora, St. Charles, King County area. So uh, I, I always plan my routes so that it's more efficient, more fast. We get through it quickly. And um, yeah, so this is going to be my haul. It, this is, It's about 30 items and I'm going to do these all in an auction with some other ones that are sitting on the table over here that are pretty new as well. And they're all going to, I, I will do an auction tomorrow night. And whatever doesn't sell, I'll do another auction on Friday night when there'll be a whole nother group of people. So that, you know, that works well for me. I'm still selling on eBay and Facebook as well. And um, so that's, that's going good too. Um, anyway, I just wanted to do a haul with you. I, I don't know why I don't do hauls very much. I, I should. I don't, usually because... I'm exhausted when I get home and I don't usually, you know, my husband usually takes all the stuff for me to the basement and then I have to do house stuff and I get thrown off and then it's the next morning and I got to do a vlog. So I'm going to try and start doing the hauls though because um, it's good. It's good to tell people about the stuff and let them see it and what you paid for it and then later on tell them what you sold it for and all that. So I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a great day. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, please forgive the repeating of some stuff. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, thank you for coming. And I hope you check out some of my other videos. I'll see you tomorrow. Worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I